We are in my new home, hanging out with the boys, Max and Bijan. This is our makeshift studio. We're gonna tailor it up a little bit more. This wall, I think, is gonna turn matte black. And we'll have a little desk over there, some office space, just pretending to be professional. We we'll get a quick tour of the house. So, the Happy Go Hungry house. Relatively empty right now. We don't have furniture yet. We're gonna do a little couch set up in here, obviously. Max, come here. How long were you sore for? This year's games, I would say less than ever. It was a little bit more of like a general full body dull soreness. Whereas in years past, there was always one specific muscle group that was destroyed, like your arms the day after the games in 2016, you couldn't bend. And the year before that, it was your quads were wrecked or your back was wrecked. This year, it was just like a little bit of everything. Getting over to the gym, got some snatches and some back squats, getting kind of back to the grind. We're only three weeks out from the CrossFit Games, so I'm still kind of taking it easy, having some fun doing the training that I want to do. Come on, you troublemaker. Pretty good, this is his spot. Welcome to Peak 360. So we just moved back to Miami full time. Joanne is going to UMPT school. I'll be training here at Peak again. And it feels like home for sure. I'm still gonna be coached by Max El Haj from Training Think Tank just from afar. And then I'll probably go up there to Alpharetta few times throughout the year. I don't know if anything is necessarily hard about today's workout and I'm okay with that right now. I don't want my workouts to be too hard just yet. Still so far out from the season. Actually, I don't know, depending on these big announcements, the season could potentially, we could have our first yeah. open in October, which is in a month. I can't imagine that being the case, but I guess I gotta be prepared for anything at this point. So today I have Snatch Complex 10 doubles power snatch and then a squat snatch working at lightweight good technique back squats five sets of five at 325 and then some accessory work no big deal man i forgot to put compression shorts on Boxer briefs are not good for working out. Is that cotton? <laughs> yeah. Dude, who wears cotton in the gym? Uh, nobody, not, nobody on purpose. Being forward in your setup. So like shins way forward over the bar so that as you pull off the ground, you're giving yourself room to pull back and pull the bar into you. Because if you set up with a vertical shin, you're basically pulling the bar straight up, which is not allowing you to pull the bar into your body. I actually didn't have a very like consistent, successful snatch season. I hit a couple big lifts, but there were no PRs, and I, snatch is one thing that it's so technical that if one week you forget to turn your knuckles down, it can throw off the whole session. You're like, what just happened? I feel like I'm starting over, so. What's your PR right now? The best snatch I've ever hit was 288. I've attempted 300 quite a few times. That's a big like lifetime goal thing. So I know that'll happen someday. It just hasn't happened yet. I think I'll do a majority of them at 165 and then the last couple sets will be feeling good. Just go by feel. I don't wanna go too heavy today. Power lifts have never been my forte, so I'm trying to work on catching a little bit higher, being a little bit more explosive. Ninety 
five. How often do you have a coach watching your form and stuff? When I was up in Alfreda, it was daily to weekly. When I'm down here, I'm kind of on my own, so I just have to reference video and friends and stuff. But I've gotten used to it, so I think being here and then being able to travel up there is a pretty good balance of both. If you guys are lucky on these next couple of sets, we might get to play the famous power or nah of the UFC. Squat. I like them both a lot. In the past, I think I would have said snatch for sure. I actually, believe it or not, eight years in to doing CrossFit, this year, figured out a comfortable spot to put the bar on my back. I used to always be so uncomfortable. I did high bar back squat. And you can see I have like a little rhino hole. Yeah, yeah. The bar used to sit really high. Pardon my unshaved back, by the way. Woolly mammoth. But the bar used to sit really high and I would finish squatting and that was just so uncomfortable. And now I kind of found a spot a little lower where I kind of dig the bar in in my setup and it feels way better. So now I like back squat quite a bit. Is that rhino horn from bars or it's natural? I think so. I mean, I may have always had a little bit of a bigger Let's thing, but again. a combination of back squatting and having the bar resting on it and yeah. then doing snatch balance and behind the neck stuff, like bringing the bar down. I think it just calcified a little bit to protect it. It doesn't hurt at all. I know it looks kind of crazy, especially when I do that. If I'm like this, you can't really tell. Yeah, yeah. It's good, it's your own little rack for the bar. For sure. So that little setup thing that I was talking about, just in case anyone's curious, I used to just step in and have the bar as high up on my neck as possible, so kind of like this. And it was just really uncomfortable. But now, I kind of set up, instead of up here, I get just below that and really like push, lean my body weight into the bar so it gets set and step out and that's just so much more comfortable. Your new position on low bar? Back squat? No, I would say that's probably still high bar because low bar, I would think rather than being still on your upper trap is like way down. So this is where I'm squatting now. I'd say that's still pretty high bar. Low bar is going to be like there. Can you see the difference? Yeah. And that puts your body in a lot less of a vertical position so rather than being Rather than being straight up and down, you end up kind of pushing your hips back, being a little more horizontal. And I think a lot of power lifters squat like that. So I think it's a little bit heavier of a lift, but in CrossFit, it makes a little bit more sense in my mind to squat high bar, to be in that vertical position because it's gonna translate over into the catch of the clean and the snatch a little bit more being in that upright front rack position. All right. Uh, getting adjusted down here. Don't have a lot of support going on. New thing, and I'm still getting used to it. Are you supposed to have this thing dangling? Do you think I see some of the cool kids with that out? I don't know if I'm supposed to tuck it in. I think so. I'm gonna let it fly and see what happens. Let it fly. Three to go. Feeling heavy? Yeah, it's been a little while. I mean, it's only been a few weeks, but I think that's enough for your body to 
get unfamiliar with loading and certain movement patterns. This is the welcome back. Welcome back to the barbell. The transition in your mindset sometimes to enjoy that process and like a 325 squat feeling heavy would normally be frustrating, but I've got to consider the time of the season, the type of training that I've been doing and like just roll with it, you know, like accept it, enjoy it and not get too frustrated too soon. It's a long season. You don't even know what season means this year. Yeah, true. It might be a short season. It might be no season. Who knows? It's crazy how quickly your body can adjust. So that was a set of five at 325, and it felt tough. A month before the games, so two months ago, I did a set of five at 410. So almost 100 pounds more, and it felt obviously a little harder, but just a huge difference, and in such a short amount of time, it feels like pretty similar I'll get back there. what's the week before the games look like week before the games is usually an adjustment week so I'm out wherever the competition is going to be in the past it was Carson the last two years it's been Madison so you just get out there get acclimated relatively low volume some touches of intensity so the volume is down but the intensity can stay high so you'll do instead of a five by five back squat we would just do like a couple singles to make sure that my body was still used to the heavy weight. And instead of 20 snatches, it would probably just be like five at a little bit of a heavier weight. Um, but just to make you feel good physically, have like your energy start to build up, but not be totally deconditioned by the time the games rolls around. Cool. Let's see what we got next. Uh, did the Snatches, did the back squats, two arm, kettlebell overhead, walking lunges, two sets of 50 feet. Weighted neutral grip pull-ups on rings at a tempo. Huh. Alright, let's do it. tougher than I thought. Atlanta's hot, but it's not humid like this. You're sweating immediately, and the heat kind of eats you like from the inside out. It's not, it's not the opposite, where you feel the heat slowly kind of seeping into your skin. It's like deep in your core and trying to get out, but it can't. Oh, it's miserable. Set two. I think I can do 14 pistols in 10 seconds. There's only one way to find out. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, two, not even 10 in 10 seconds. I don't know why I thought they were faster than one rep per second. So just let it go, but honey, we have to be together. Flat tuck front lever on rings as many seconds as possible. Inverted hang on rings for 20 seconds. Legless, 90 degree isometric hold on pegboard. Bent over, thumbs up, reverse flies. And getting swole. All right. That's it, bro. That's a wrap. A few weeks out of the games, this is my first official training session back being programmed by my coach Max. And it's the very, very beginning of the season. We've got so much time, so just kind of taking it easy, feeling good. There's no rush to be doing anything crazy just yet. 
I think as you guys follow along, you'll see stuff start to ramp up a little bit more. The first thing that I've got coming up competitively is going to be the team series, which I'm gonna do with Travis Mayer. He and I won the whole thing last year worldwide, so we're gonna try to do that again. I'll spend one weekend up at Training Think Tank doing that with him, and then he's gonna come down into the second weekend here. So that is it for training for the day. I'm gonna head home, take care of some house stuff, and I will see you guys again soon. It's pretty disgusting. Because that is a very small amount of fabric carrying a lot of sweat. Yum. <laughs> Are you cool being in the vlog? Yep. Uh, yeah. It's more about me than it is about him, always. I but if I'm just in it for like 10 seconds, I'd rather not be in it. If you had to pick a workout that you think you would beat him at, what would it be? Uh, DT. 